What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid Kickstarter. You don't want to miss this one. It's Morphin Time! Whoa. The highly anticipated Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid board game Kickstarter is finally here at my doorstep. This thing was put up on Kickstarter back in August of 2018, and less than a year later, it is finally here. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to finally get my hands on this thing. I just can't wait anymore. Let's go crack it open. And this is everything that came inside of the Kickstarter that I backed. This is the Morphin Master Pledge. It's the all-in pledge. It comes with everything. Um, I don't want to make a super long video to where we're looking at every single miniature. But what I do want to do is give you an overview of the game. An overview of what you get in each of these boxes. Show you what's a Kickstarter exclusive, what's not. And kind of what you can expect if you want to get into this game. So stick around because we're about to get to the good stuff. So Heroes of the Grid is a two to five player board game. You can add a sixth player into the game with the Shattered Grid expansion. And essentially what it is is you are playing as the Power Rangers. And you are trying to fend off evil in Angel Grove before all of the map locations on the board become overrun and panicked. That's kind of essentially what you're trying to do. So it's a full co-op game. Uh, it plays fairly quickly from what I have been able to see. And if you get all of this stuff, you'll have 20 playable characters, you'll have 16 different monsters, and you'll have nine different bosses. Plus there's like five or six different uh, foot soldier types that you can play and fight off as well so there's a lot of content here and a lot of replayability and the miniatures are amazing so of course to play any of this stuff you need the base game so the base game here heroes of the grid is uh the five original mighty morphin power rangers it comes with four monsters and it comes with rita repulsa who is your boss it also comes with all the tokens it comes with some generic dice as well uh, your rule book, etc. The Shattered Grid expansion, which is the first full expansion for the game, uh, adds more bosses, more monsters, and includes Lord Dracon as a boss uh, to fight against. It also includes the Hyper Force Rangers from the comic book series that are playable characters as well. So we'll uh, we'll take a look at some of those miniatures in a minute. Uh, over here you have the two uh, Zord. Uh, expansions I guess you could say they're they're really just figures the Megazord is more for aesthetics than anything else you while you're playing the game when you can summon the Megazord in the base game you get a token to indicate that you have unlocked the Megazord but if you want to buy the deluxe figure you can use the deluxe figure as in place of that token instead when you have summoned the Megazord. Uh, the Cyclopsis Deluxe figure is actually a boss unto itself and plays very different from all the other bosses. So this is not more of an expansion than just a figure. Uh, so I would say this is definitely something that you want to get. And all four of these things that I've showed so far or talked about so far, the base game, the Shattered Grid, the Megazord, and the... Um, Cyclopsis are all uh they're all going to be released to the public none of these are kickstarter exclusives uh we also got some dice uh which we'll take a closer look at the dice in a minute but these are colored dice for each of the main um looks like six rangers seven rangers so you get red pink yellow blue and black and then of course you also get green and white in the base game, it comes with clear dice, so like I said, generic dice, whereas these are a little more specific. And these you can also 
uh, pick up once the game is released. Another thing that the game came with is um, a villain pack. So the villain pack includes two new monsters and two new bosses. And then it also included a, uh, a foot soldier pack, which has um, more of the foot soldier characters, I guess you could say. So you get a lot of them in here. You get more of them in here. And there's actually more even in the Kickstarter exclusive. So I'm never going to run out of foot soldier models to paint and or play with because the set just comes with a lot. And I believe these are going to be released to the public as well. These are not Kickstarter exclusives. The Kickstarter exclusive stuff actually comes in this big giant box down here, which we'll take a look at in a minute. All right, so the first thing that I want to take a look at before we dive into the, some of the models is the dice, like I mentioned earlier. So these dice right here are just some standard, what I would consider to be standard size dice. Uh, and then these are the dice for Heroes of the Grid. So you can kind of see uh, the size difference right away. They're a little bit bigger, but I actually like that. Like, I like the feel of them. You're probably never going to be rolling more than five or six dice at a time anyway. So when you put five or six dice in your hand, it, you know, it, it fills it up as opposed to, you know two dice of, of this size here. So I actually like the size of these. I like the feel of them. They shake really well. Rolling them is fun, which is a huge plus because who doesn't like chucking dice, right? And then you have the cards. So there are two different size cards. If you're interested in sleeving these, you have standard size playing cards, and then you also have uh, tarot size cards, which are the character cards here. Uh, these are the ones that came in the Kickstarter exclusive box. Tommy Oliver is currently a Kickstarter exclusive that may change later on down the line. You get both versions of him. And then uh, these are just uh, different skins for Jason Lee Scott and Kimberly Ann Hart. And then these were exclusive original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cards. I guess the art is different than what comes in the box. And last but not least, the miniatures. So uh, I pulled a couple of the miniatures out that were kind of my favorite. Tommy is my favorite ranger, so I went ahead and pulled out uh, his white and green ranger version just to show you um, kind of the detail on that. It's really hard to see because of the white, I'm noticing. Uh, but this is Tommy's white ranger and here is Tommy's Green Ranger. That's probably a little bit better to see. And another thing that I wanted to show you guys is just kind of the scale. So um, let's compare for a second Tommy, Green Ranger Tommy here, and a standard size Tactical Marine. So... Just to give you an idea, this right here is a Tactical Marine for um, Warhammer 40k, and then this is Tommy. So this is, the scale of these models is larger than 32mm um, scale. I also have a, a Primaris Captain in Gravis armor. You can see he's Tommy is still bigger than him just to give you an idea of the scale. And some of the monsters and bosses are also large. I went ahead and pulled out Goldar. So even Goldar there is bigger than bigger than Tommy, as he should be. But just to give you an idea, again, of the detail of the miniatures, these look really, really good. These are solid sculpts. Nobody, you don't have to put anything together. Or anything like that. Here is Eye Guy. And then Alpha 5. He's about he's even he's taller than than a standard TAC Marine. And then I wanted to show you the Zord. So here is the Megazord. He is 
monstrous in size, but the detail is amazing. Uh, the sword is detachable, which is also awesome. You can put it in, I guess, different ways. Like he's pulling it up out of the ground. And let's clear some of the space out here so you can again see the size. So here is Megazord versus the White Ranger there. And then versus a little Primaris Marine. And the Cyclopsis is the same scale as this, so it's just as big. But I definitely can't wait to paint this bad boy up. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Please consider sharing it with your fellow Power Ranger fan friends. Maybe they would find it enjoyable as well. If you have any suggestions of any future videos you'd like to see, maybe some further unboxing videos, maybe some gameplay, please let us know in the comments below. If you have any videos that you would like featured on our page, you can also let us know in the comments below or you can hit us up on one of our social media platforms. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We have lots of new stuff coming out. Well, that's all from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. And may the power protect you.